Snelling hooks is a simple and effective way of presenting baits absolutely beautifully. Even though it looks a bit technical, it is not difficult to do, and this is what it looks like. Two Gamakatsu Circle Octopus 6 O's to show you how to snell line. 50 pound Maxima fiber guys, so you can see it. I've already tied that first hook on there with a uni knot. So, get the end of your line once that's tied on, and you'll see, when I pick this hook up and have a close look, the wire actually goes down, bends back up and around, and then meets the hook at the top there. So, turn your hook over, and just simply slide that line through, and then pull your tag until you've got both hooks in the area you want them. So that's gonna sit down like that, and it's really important to space them out so it's the right size for your bait, because your bait's gonna hang off this hook, and this hook here is simply sitting in the edge waiting for the fish to grab it. I like that distance, just perfect. So you'll see, as I showed you before, the wire of the hook comes around this way and then finishes down at the bottom there and rejoins the hook. We need to remember that for this step, because we wanna run the line and snell it back away from that first one, and over. This will avoid any pinching, which could result in line breakage. Literally just follow that around all the way down the shank until you've gone down almost in line with, I'll just show you here, almost in line with the point, just depends on the size of the hook. That's actually pretty cool. Then pinch that with your finger, grab the end of your leader and put it through the eye and just hold it nice and tight, pinch it up and pull and that locks that in place. You'll see that is beautifully locked in place. So now I've got my main hook snelled to the line, second hook tied, and that is just ideal when it comes to rigging baits, when you want them just to sit in the current beautifully and get great bait presentation.